Hello everyone. Let's uh, take a look at another oscillator. This is a Z10 oscillator and I discussed some basics of oscillators on the VB oscillator video. Uh, please uh, view that because there's some information that relates to this oscillator as well, some basic information which is in the beginning of the video. Now, uh, real quick, uh, you have your oversold which is painted in blue, your overbought which is painted in red and as discussed in the VB video, you cannot blindly trade these signals unless you aside from using a, an indicator that tells you what the market conviction or bias or trend however you want to refer to it you need to know and understand what the condition of the market is are we bullish bearish is there bullish bearish bias is there no bias is it just a range day where we're stuck within the range that was produced early in the day uh, generally in the first hour are we just trading within that and that's a range day then the top and bottom of that range is where you want to look for oversold or overbought readings etc um, other than that you need to consider the trade signals in the context of the bias or the trend of the market uh, here you have your extreme reading which is painted in white it would be painted in white if it was extreme oversold reading and I just want to give you one tip regarding these extremes when the extremes occur and the bar associated with the extremes is let me zoom in on this price action here when the extreme reading is a bullish candle like this is uh, this is particularly bullish because the open and the close are pretty much the low tick and the high tick there's no tail on this there's no wick or shadow however you want to refer it it's just a solid candle that's bullish. Now when that happens on an extreme reading like this and I mentioned earlier that extreme overbots do not always refer do not always show a sell signal they can be bullish they can tell you that the more this is it's a buy signal. So taking this information the extreme reading and this bar here this candle uh, this is not you shouldn't be looking for a reversal you should be looking for a continuation a bullish continuation now on the other hand if this bar tried to intra bar opened here try to close up here and sellers came in and pushed it down and closed it on the lows here or even below its open created an inverted hammer that's when this reading would tell you that a reversal of direction is coming either that will continue for the rest of the day or temporarily put in a nice directional move downwards uh, another piece of clue is the next bar the next bar, tiny little dark line which represents absolutely no selling. Okay, uh, that and it closed well into the highs of the prior bar. It, it wasn't able to breach and close anywhere down here. So if you get this and you wait for confirmation, uh, you could have taken this breakout not just because of this signal, but also because this was if you were trading this day and you were paying attention you would notice that we sold off we tried to come up and there was a battle here this widespread bar bears sh shorts came in try to push it down and then uh, over here support bulls came back in and then it got real choppy then we tested the low again we started moving up and this was so this became by this time you knew that intraday resistance key resistance was that area right there that and <clears throat> there was a couple of uh, zones here SR zones in this area here and here but the low bounced off of that and this was your intraday support uh, if you s realize that there was a battle here a street brawl so to speak between bulls and bears then you would uh, pick up on this support and resistance other than that you're gonna say well this is just this he's just you know doing hindsight hindsight analysis anybody can do that but in real time you it's very it was very obvious that there was a battle going on here and so when we approached here I mean this is the reason why nobody wanted to buy here once we broke above that uh, considering this reading this breakout this was a good breakout to take anyway so we're getting a little bit off subject I want to go back to oscillators and focus on focus on combining an oscillator 
with a proprietary trend indicator or with your own trend indicator or with our proprietary trend indicator and uh, as long as the trend indicator is reliable that's the point okay because these signals will be very very high probability if you combine them with a reliable trend indicator so let's uh, here I just picked cumulative delta as our trend indicator and in the manual on the how to HTU manual of this indicator it tells you pretty much when the trend is red and when how to determine up or down trend so with respect to the up and down trend of this indicator I went ahead and placed the cell signals okay that would be created via the Z10 oscillator okay so the morning wasn't so hot uh, a couple of small trades nothing hot nothing to write home about uh, the afternoon is when in fact when this breakout occurred here when you get these kind of when everything works together and ties in together gives you a lot of information that really boosts your confidence because you start understanding what happens what's going on internally you understand that the bears try to push it down we had this large gap down we try to push up bears came in again here as shorts that is came in again here but they just couldn't overwhelm the buyers and the buyers eventually broke price above point of control of the shorts and understanding that really and seeing your indicators aligned with that understanding gives you a lot of confidence and on days like this you gotta be all over these signals take these longs okay I went ahead and marked all these longs you have four consecutive longs that you could have either traded them and exited them or you could have you this one prior to the breakout I mean this was you get the breakout pretty no-brainer that you should hold on to some part of your position for as much as possible these could have been ads these could have been separate trades okay you could got in here you could have exited anywhere around here so and the Delta trend was uptrend pretty much from this point on so you had green light to take only long trades and ignore these over bought signals as short signals so again watch the VB video if you want to get more information because there's more information on that uh, I highly recommend if you're using these oscillators to use both oscillators to ensure that you don't miss any trade signals by both I mean the Z10 oscillator and the VB oscillator if you're not trading index futures and the VB oscillator will not work for you so if you're not if you're trading index futures stocks or ETFs then the VB oscillator is a great addition because with that and this Z10 oscillator you are pretty much you could line them up like this and as you can see I'm showing you here that they function differently for example you have a couple of over so overbought readings here the VV has three of them or down here there's only one here and there's a couple here uh, they do function on different logic but when you combine them it ensures that you don't miss any signals uh, and as far as trend indicators go you can use them with a combination of trend indicators that we have or you can use your own trend indicators or uh, you can use uh, just a couple of trend indicators let's say you can use SDI and cumulative delta or you can use V volume breadth SDI you can use volume breadth and the Z Kelter channel it's up to you um, ideally we like to use all of them uh, we understand that everybody's budget allows them to have all of them but if uh, you can start with a couple and once you start seeing success with them then you'll be motivated to add the additional ones just to make sure you don't pass up on good tra you don't miss good trades good uh, trade opportunities thanks for watching as always if you guys have questions let us know